The Nolensville High School volleyball team stayed unbeaten in the loaded District 11 AAA Tuesday with a five-set victory against visiting Franklin. The Knights, the three-time defending state champs, were pushed to the end by the new-look Admirals. Nolensville picked up a 15-11 win in the fifth and deciding set. Kyra Knox tallied 23 kills and 11 digs, and Maggie Rickard added another double-double with 16 kills and 20 digs. This long hit sealed the win for the Knights. We knew that we're going to get everyone's best, and so we just had to dig deep and find that win and pull it out. The sophomore Knox teamed up with Maggie Allred for 11 blocks and also served up three aces. Her 23 kills came off 51 attacks on the night. Ellie Tant and Caroline Johnston split the setting duties for Nolensville with 44 assists. Senior Peyton Neal scooped up 19 digs and added five big aces. This one gave the Knights a 7-3 lead in the final set. It felt like really good as a team. Like the team environment was awesome and like we really pulled together that game and worked like together to beat them and it was awesome and they played great. So I say it every time we step out here. The county in general, but but this district, uh, it's it's beyond tough. Uh, I feel like you know you got four teams that, that are definitely top ten in the state type teams. You got to put Franklin in there now after seeing them the way they play tonight. So biggest thing I take out of the night, and I told the girls, is it, it's okay at times to have some moments when maybe you're not at your best, uh, but to be able to dig down, find a way to get this thing done in the end, uh, I thought was really special. Nolensville improved to 22 and 4 overall while Franklin suffered just its fourth loss. Junior Dylan Garner paced the Admirals with 16 kills while Taryn Roberts hit for 12 more and added four blocks. The girls have already more than doubled their win total from a season ago. We talk about a lot what does success look like and for us it's just being able to walk off the court content with how they played and then they left everything out there. Um, and I really feel like they did that tonight and we came up just short. Um, but I'm proud of the way they played so hard and fought so hard. Both teams continue the push through District 11 AAA this week and next. Nolensville will close out the regular season at Franklin on September 29th.